So back in April, I posted a video featuring this setup right here, and I said if we could get this video to 4,000 likes, I would post a tutorial for this setup. Fast forward to just a little while ago, and the video has finally reached the mark. And so, as promised, here we are. As always, links to everything are down below in the description, so make sure you check them out. Just wanted to take a quick second to thank the sponsor of today's video, Dbrand. They make awesome skins for your tech devices and I personally enjoy using them to give my tech a different, refreshing look, texture, and to even protect my devices from things like scratches. And for even more protection, they've got their grip case and prism screen protector. Dbrand's been supporting the channel for a long time, so make sure you go ahead and check them out using the very first link in the description. All right, so let's get to it. First things first, the launcher. This one's actually not in the Play Store, so make sure you hit that link down there and it'll take you to this page. Scroll down and you'll see where you can download the latest V2 version. Once you've downloaded that, go ahead and install it. Man, this looks good already. Next, go to the launcher settings and go to desktop. Then set the grid size to 9x7. This is pretty much the sweet spot for my setups now. After that, enable overlapped placement. That's going to be for our widgets. Enable hide app names. Another thing I like to do is enable the blink app opening animation. Shout out to those of you that remember which version of Android this is from. Then scroll down and hide the status bar for that extra desktop cleanliness. Next, let's hop into the dock settings. Set the dock style to custom. Set corner rounding to 18 dp. Opacity to 1%. Dock scale to 100%, disable page indicator, set number of icons to 7, and disable colored icons. After that, head over to the search settings and enable voice search button and dual bubble search bar. Next, on the home screen, get rid of all of the stock icons and the at a glance widget up top. Next, we're going to grab the Enix icon pack from the Play Store, and one of the cool things about Lawn Chair V2 is that you can set additional icon packs. My secondary is Moxie, so if you'd like, you can pick that one up as well. Go back into to the launcher settings, hit theme, then icon packs, and drag and drop the ones you want enabled. While we're in here, you can set the theme to whatever you'd like, then enable blur strength and set it to 66. Now go ahead and set up the app icons how you'd like. You can set them up like mine, I've got the dock loaded, and then three above that. All right, so now let's move over to the widgets. This is where it may get a little more difficult, but hang in there, you've got this. So you're gonna wanna download KWGT and KWGT Pro if you haven't already, then download X Widgets. This here is our skin pack where all of the widgets will come from. Back on the home screen, add a KWGT widget, tap on it, go through the initial setup if you haven't yet, tap X Widgets, and we're going to use Exquidget's Min 1. This is where some editing comes into play. Go to the Layer tab, and I have my scale set to 261.2. As usual, you can adjust this as you see fit. Go back to the Items tab, hit Shape, and increase the corners to 10. Then hit the Paint tab and increase the transparency. You can copy mine if you'd like. Looks pretty good, right? Moving on to the next widget, look for Exquidgets at a glance and go ahead and get rid of everything except for the part titled Info. Then tap Info and get rid of everything besides the part that shows your battery stats. Next, make sure you hit the Save button, head back to the home screen and see if you need to resize it, then go back into KWGT and reposition the text as needed. Another thing you can do is head over to the text settings, put a dash after remaining, type charge at, then go to the battery info section and select the one that says date of expected next charge slash discharged event. Hit the check mark and you should be good to go. Let's move on to the music widget and we're looking for typographic 12. Delete everything except for the last stack group. I have the layer set to 166.4 and the position is set to 9 and 1. You can adjust as needed. Then you can set it to open whatever media application you'd like. Mine is currently Spotify. Next is the time widget. Of course, you can actually make your own if you'd like, but I just ripped mine from Exquidget's clock. Delete everything but the text, adjust the position and scale as needed, and if you want, you can set it to open up the clock application. Last widget on this screen comes from Typographic29. 
delete everything but the overlap group, set the scale to 200.6, and bring it back with the position set to negative seven and eight. Say it with me now, adjust as needed. As always, you can set it to open whatever you'd like. I have it set to open up the Play Store. All right, so on the next home screen, add another widget and we're looking for upcoming events. Adjust as needed. And now sometimes the events won't even show up. And if that does happen, go ahead and restart your phone and you should be good to go. Below that widget, I have a week calendar from month calendar widget. You can of course add that or applications or whatever you'd like. Last but not least, we've got the app drawer. Set the opacity to 70%. I have multi-line app names enabled as well as remember scroll position. And in the original video, I took advantage of the tabs feature. You can do that if you want. It's a nice way to organize all of your applications. But recently, the devs added folders to the app drawer. Thank you. So now I'm using those instead. It's awesome. But that is pretty much it. I hope this was able to help you get your setup to look like mine. If you have any trouble, feel free to drop a comment and I'll do my best to help you guys out. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and leave it a like. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. I will talk to you all in the very next video and thank you so much for watching.